Me too. Is this? A nice atmosphere? A romantic-like atmosphere? Her hand. I want to hold it. Front row seat is Hiriyama. The science is going to carry on. It's good. He's a smart guy, so you should ask him to teach you your studies. It would have been better if you were closer. Oh, I'm sorry I'm closer. Ha, huh. but the person who sits next to me will think the same thing. Oh, it's you, he, Hiriyama. I hope we get on. What? What the hell? I'm next to the pseudo. Y yeah, I hope we get on. Huh? Like what? Is she really not like me? I, Hiriyama Kodai, a sophomore in high school, is in high spirits because I've been seated next to you, Kotone Sudo, the Madonna of the class. That's right, I have feelings for Kotone Sudo, but I'm a simple human being who has nothing to offer but seriousness, and I quietly read books during my breaks. In contrast to that, she's the most popular girl in her class because of her good looks and cheerful personality. As you might have known, she and I live in different worlds. That doesn't mean I can give up. You see, it often in mangas, the introverted protagonist and the Madonna of the school are seated next to each other. Could this be my first and last chance? Uh, excuse me. Hmm? Uh, um, um, just thought the weather was nice today. What? It's cloudy. That's quite true. <laughs> uh, I'm finished. Usually she's so cheerful, but since being sat next to me, she's been pretty quiet. I bet she doesn't want to be next to me, and she's feeling pretty down about it. I realized that my wishes would never come true. There's something clearly wrong. She looks pale today and she has a different, weaker expression than usual. I wonder if Sudo is okay. She clearly doesn't look well. As I recall, she supposedly has never been late. No absences, and is healthy, but... What if she got sick because she didn't want to be next to me so much? Um, well, you alright? Hmm? What's wrong? I'm in pain. Are you not feeling well? Well then, Yuriyama, please, take her to the nursing room. Y yes sir. Is that alright for me to take her? Uh... My homeroom teacher directed me, so I took her and headed to the nursing room. It's probably a Nima. Are you getting enough sleep and food? In the meantime, lie down and have a rest. Okay. Hey, you. I'm going to leave for a moment. Can you watch her for me? What? M me? You're the only one here. I have something to get from the staff room, okay? Thanks. Y yes Does this mean alone in the nursing room with Sudo? Hang on. What am I expecting? She's in bad shape, for God's sake. Are... are you okay? Hmm... The girl I love is suffering right in front of me. And all I can do is ask, are you okay? Makes me feel so ashamed. No. The best I can do to make her happy is to get out of here. When the teacher gets back, I'll go straight back to the classroom as soon as possible. It's because I sat next to you, Hiriyama. I knew it. I thought that might have been the case. But when it's put into words, the damage is harsh. I am in so much pain, I can't breathe. I'm sorry I'm next to you. What? 
She takes and squeezes my hand and gently brings it close to her chest. Her words sound like she was accusing me and rejecting me, but her expression and actions are as if she wants me. But I bet this is just another one of my convenient delusions. God's sake, wake up! That's what I told myself, but the next thing she says freezes my brain. Uh, um, you know, I... Hmm? What are you doing? Uh, uh, well, sh she seemed in pain, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, then. I'll be off. Hold on a minute. No matter if I'm dating, I wouldn't pass up on a naughty act in the nursing room. I'm single, and all I have to do is work. Damn you, youth. Th that's a misunderstanding. I will only be sharing with your homeroom teacher, so don't worry. Anyway, you're both writing a reflection on your action essay after school. Got it? Y yes. yes. After school? This is awkward. I can't hold this out for long. As the nursing room teacher had declared, Sudo and I had to write a reflection on your action essay in an empty classroom after school. I... I wonder how we're supposed to write this. Although contrary to the facts, I apologize for my misleading behavior. Something like that, maybe? Contrary to the facts, huh? What? Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm sorry I got you caught up in this mess. Oh, no. But, but more importantly, are you feeling any better? I think I'm still feeling a little fuzzy. Uh, oh, right. You look like you were in a lot of pain. Huh? Uh, y yeah. It must still be tough for her now. <laughs> but it's still not actually my fault. It's your fault, Hiriyama. I'm sorry about that. Hiriyama, my heart aches. Because I love you. Wait, what did you just... Have you finished writing? You're not doing anything that could be misleading again, are you? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Youth is great, isn't it? Right, it's fine now, off you go. Did I mishear that earlier? But I'm pretty sure she said she loves me. Hey, um... Uh, goodbye, teacher! When I tried to talk to her, she rushed out of the classroom. In the end, I never got to hear her words from earlier. Oh my, oh my. Next day... Yuriyama! Sudo, are you feeling better? Y yes thank you for yesterday. Oh no, I didn't do anything. I couldn't stop thinking about what happened after school, and didn't sleep a wink last night. It will take a lot of courage for me to ask what she meant by that statement. But, if that was her true voice from her heart, I can't pretend that it was nothing. Uh, you know, it, it's about yesterday. Yeah? I'm going to tell you in advance. I'm really sorry if I just misheard it, but... Well, yesterday, it sounded like you said that your chest was aching because you like me. What... What exactly was that? Uh... uh um, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly what happened yesterday. I was zoned out the whole time after school. S so don't worry about it. I'm sorry. Wait! Of course, I knew it. I'm embarrassed of myself for even expecting anything. As I thought, she wasn't thinking straight because she was in a bad state. Or I just misheard her sentence. Once again, I've updated one page of my dark history, and I felt like she's gone even further away from me. Ah! <sighs> 
Why did I pretend like it didn't happen? Idiot, idiot, idiot! I, Katone Sudo, have someone I like. It's Kodai Hirayama, who sits next to me. He always looks cool and is reading books, a slightly mysterious person who doesn't talk much and you can't tell what he's thinking. But I can tell that he's a very earnest and kind person. While everyone else is doing their chores and cleaning half-heartedly, he's the only one who takes it seriously, and his class notes are more neatly organized than a girl's. And when I saw him on his way out of school, like an elderly woman from the countryside, his eyes were warm and loving towards a stray cat. As my eyes followed him around, before I knew it, I had fallen in love with him. I know it's coming from me, but I'm a sociable person and I'm liked by many. But when I talk to him, I get so nervous that my words don't come out. I was amazed at how falling in love can do this to you. Hmm? Uh... He looked away. He talks even less than usual when he talks to me, and he doesn't even make eye contact most of the time. Maybe he's being conscious of me? There was a time when I would think of such things and couldn't help but smile, but it was just my own convenient delusion. He probably doesn't like me. Why did I let my urges get the better of me and say those things? Why did I say them and then pretend nothing happened? I have no guts. How much easier would it be if I could treat him as if I was talking to a classmate? With the same thoughts today as usual, I couldn't help but look at him every few minutes. Huh. Love sickness is a serious disease. Lately, I've been thinking about pseudo all the time. It made it impossible for me to focus on my revisions and homework at home, and I just wasted time being lazy. After finishing my study, I think it's finally time for bed. But then I start thinking about her again, and I can't sleep. And because of that, it led to days of being zoned out all day. I wonder if Hiriyama is okay. Maybe he has a cold? T teacher Hmm? What is it? Are you not feeling well again? Uh, this time it seems that Hirayama's not feeling that well, so I'm going to take him to the nursing room. N no there's nothing wrong. Oh, I see. Maybe there's a cold going around. Be careful, everyone. Are you alright? Huh? Excuse me. Oh, the nursing room teacher isn't in. Yeah. I never thought Sudo would take me. Is it because I took her to the nursing room the other day? Are you feeling okay? Uh, yeah. I haven't been sleeping very well lately, so... Uh, I see. Is it because of what I said the other day? Th thank you. I'm okay now. Can't afford to get you in trouble, so get back to class. I guess I'm a bother being here together. Uh, okay. I thought she hated me, but Sudo's a kind person. I thought of that as I watched her back as she left. Further and further away, she's... Not going? She stood there without leaving the nursing room. She turned on her heel and came towards me. I... I'm sorry. What? What's wrong suddenly? I knew I couldn't go on like this. You don't lose your memory just because you're sick. You know, I remember clearly that I told you that I liked you, Hiriyama. I said it at my own will. I'm sorry I lied, but I couldn't find the courage. What? I've had my eyes on you, Hiriyama. You're kind, serious, and responsible. Then I fell in love with you, but... But I've never felt this way before, so I didn't know what to do. And thought that maybe I could say it in the heat of the moment if it was just the two of us. Pseudo. The reason I wasn't feeling well was because I was nervous about having my favorite person sit next to me. And I couldn't sleep because I was thinking of you every day. That's how much I like you. M me too. I'm the same. 
What? I kept thinking about you, Sudo. I was neglecting everything else, and I couldn't sleep at all. Uh, oh, right. But I didn't have the courage and couldn't say anything. I thought the confession that time was a mistake. M me too. That's because I thought you hated me, if anything. Th that would be my line. I guess we were both thinking about the exact same thing. It seems so. Please, Please go out go with out me. me. Uh. Uh. That was pretty abrupt. You as well, Hirayama. Goodness me. Let's just say there's no reflection on your action essays today, shall we? Next day. G good morning. Oh, morning. Did you sleep well yesterday? No, not really. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't mean that in a negative way at all. Y yeah. Incidentally, I couldn't sleep either. Well, same here. I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, I was elated. I was so happy that I'm going out with you. M me too. Is this... A nice atmosphere? A romantic-like atmosphere? Her hand. I want to hold it. Oh, it's the two nursing room regulars. I knew you guys were dating. Youth is so nice. But hey, the nursing room is not the place to nurture love, all right? Please, take note of that. But we won't nurture anything. Our inexperienced, shy, and clumsy selves will continue to unfold our youth. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye.